doing it. Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have the Honey Monster. We have this beer. This beer is from New Zealand. This is Eight Wired Brewings Hop Wired New Zealand IPA. That's where Lord of the Rings is. New Zealand. Thanks for that. Hey, no problem. Mordor just outside of Wellington. <laughs> Facts. Anyway, 7.3% alcohol by volume. <laughs> this was bottled on December 11th, so this is actually kind of old. It's bordering on five months, but you could just start getting this in Ontario, like, a few oh. weeks ago. Jesus, fuck. So, and the reason I bring that up is because this is talking about how it's the only New World beer on the shelf they know of that is using New Zealand-grown pale malts and New Zealand grown unique hops, which means Nelson Savine is probably in here. Mm -hmm. My favorite hop in the world. Which does not last like, very long. Yeah, it's like two weeks and it's gone. <laughs> so, I'm a little saddened that it took Ontario, Ontario got a shipment of this, but it took them four months from when it was bottled to get it on the shelf. Well, the Urukai were probably attacking little size of the spaceport, so. That was a nice smoke, though, that came out. That was a nice smoke that came out. Like Mount of the Doom sausage. In Mordor of the Empire. I don't know. I don't really know anything about it. It's got a nice look. That's my family right now. You got naked pics of your mom? What's going on? No, his sister. Oh. Where are they at? No, he's from another country. Vegas? <laughs> Shouldn't judge. <laughs> anyway. Shouldn't judge, little, bro. Little tiny bit of haze to it. Nice color. Um, again, you're looking at just starting the amber hue. It's like a deep golden color. Nice off-white head. Smoke on Hawaii. Oh, that smells good. It does smell good. Is it me or did the, the head change color a little bit? It seems to me that the head changed color. It used to be darker and now it's like lighter. That's weird. Yeah, if you look at it, you can see it's lighter along the edges and it's yeah. darker in the middle. And it's, it's actually going in. Like yeah. it's getting lighter as it fades. That's cool. That is kind of cool. That's kind of, that's fucking, that's magic right there. Science. That is sorcery. Get some in my glass. <clears throat> sorcery. Right here. So yeah, you actually can still sell, smell some Nelson Savine. I'm getting a little bit of pineapple, a little mm. bit of pa passion fruit. I also like this Nelson Savine, really. You know, the more of these I drink, the more I really like Nelson Savine. Yeah, Thanks, I just sir. wish it was fresher. Yeah. But maybe it'll still be okay. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe it'll be a big goddamn malt pile. Oh no, that's a hop pile. Yeah, that's a pile of hops. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but is it a good tasting hop? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. It is. Nice, uh, nice mm. grapefruit. Lots of pineapple. Yeah, lots, lots of, of pineapple. It's a grapefruit. Oh man. Some passion fruit. Nice and bitter on the background. Yeah, I Good love these texture. hops because they come out with those beautiful flavors and then they hit you with the alpha acid. They hit you with the punch-in-the-face mm -hmm. bitterness after you get the beautiful flavors. Yeah, and it just makes you want to drink more of it. Yeah. Which makes it even more delicious. The malt actually even Ooh. mixes in well with the taste. Yeah. I mean, the, malt's, the malt is a very, very sweet malt, almost candy sweet, Yeah. but it mixes with that pineapple taste really well. It's like, you get that sweet malt, hit with the pineapple... Then the passion fruit and grapefruit, then the bitterness. Yeah. yeah. It, it hits you great. Like, it just goes. It's good because they've It continuously added, changes. They've added a malt in, and I don't... I'm not disgusted by the amount of malt they put in, because normally I'm disgusted by malt. My so... fingers smell like a girl at campfire. <sighs> <laughs> Mary Jane Rotten Crotch. Um, bush party. <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, yeah, no, this is, this is fine. This is fine. I actually really enjoy this. In all honesty, I really enjoy it's this It's a good beer. IPA. It's a good IPA. It's a really hoppy IPA. Like, IPA yeah. lovers will love it. Mm -hmm. But the hops they used are hops that IPA, like, people that don't love IPAs could still love it. Now, think about this. This has been sitting for five months. Imagine what this tastes like fresh. I'm imagining basically a fruit salad. Yeah. Right. I imagine the fucking, like, Ryu fucking fireball combo. Just like... <laughs> good, but you're... Yeah. No, it, it it's actually good. And it kind of reminds me of, uh, what was that Sly Fox shit? The Sly Fox 113? 
Oh yeah, we did the one one three, and we did the uh, we did another one that wasn't as good. But the one one three was uh, like one one three was one hundred and thirteen IBUs and tasted yeah. amazing. It was amazing, and this sort of kind of has the same taste to it. Yeah, very um, fruity. but it's a little fruitier than than that one because that was a little more malty. This one's more fruity, and I I really enjoyed this. I would totally and drink it's seven point three percent alcohol, and you wouldn't know that. Yeah, you wouldn't know no. that at all. No, not at all. And it's from New Zealand, the home yeah. of Mordor. Or does not just simply walk into more doors. Um, it's really good, and I really enjoy it. I will give it an 8.5. I'm sure because it's from New Zealand, it also takes us five months to get a goddamn bottle. Um, it's going to be a pain in the balls. So, yeah, that the best I can do is again. No, but it's on the grind. <laughs> it it's like 8.5. I give it an 8.5 because it's good, but it's not. it's like a really good... IPA, but it's something you're not gonna be able to get that much, it, no, or as fresh as it needs to be. Yeah, and like that kind of takes. And that's the thing. Looking, still at, looking at it myself, tasting it, it tastes awesome. And oh, I wish, I wish that I could get it fresh because if it, I could get it fresh, this I might be a so. nine. Yeah. But oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with you. Fresh, I'm gonna give it an eight five. This would be excellent. But yeah, about one of these without, without it being that. Yeah, it's only gonna get it's only gonna get eight point five. But still, it's from New Zealand. That's yeah, fresh. Could be fresher. It's about five months. The away. home of Saruman and Sauron the Unblinking. <laughs> well, thank you guys. Eight five from both Cookie of us. Cookie Monster, the Master of Pop Wired. What? IPA. Bye.